health authorities in Uganda are fighting efforts to contain the newly declared Ebola outbreak in the country after several cases and deaths were reported in some part of the country. The outbreak has triggered concern among the public, including a motorist who transport different people to places on a daily basis. The World Health Organization is working with local authorities to fast-track initiatives uh, to develop an Ebola vaccine to stem the virus. And uh, here's more details of that in this report. Alan Nuagaba operates a motorbike taxi service in Kampala. Every day he gets in contact with different people as he transports them from place to place. With a confirmed outbreak of Ebola, Alan is worried for his life. It can be difficult for us to protect ourselves, but luckily we have been told about the symptoms and what to do. The capital Kampala has so far recorded one Ebola death, and more than 40 people have been listed as contacts, according to the Ministry of Health. That actually worries so much, especially to us people who are always in a, 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 a crowded environment. For example, school, we're always in class, no masks, no any other measures, so we're actually very worried. I know about Ebola, so I'm minimizing my moves. Ebola is a hemorrhagic fever that spreads through contact with the bodily fluids of an infected person. The Ministry of Health says it has increased surveillance in areas where cases have been discovered. But other stringent measures are being put in place to contain the spread of the virus, including arresting people suspected to have contracted Ebola if they refused to go into isolation. The UN World Health Organization, WHO, attributes the current outbreak in Uganda to the Ebola Sudan strain. We need to have a very functional, enhanced surveillance system that is able to pick every suspected case we need to ensure that every alert that is coming from the community it is reported and verified we need to ensure that every contact of a case is identified and tracked for 21 days the ebola sudan strain does not have a vaccine but the who says two vaccines could be put into clinical trials in the coming days. Once the protocol and the ethical uh, regulations and uh, import uh, permits are addressed, this will be flown in and will be given for immediate contacts which are at risk. Uh, so uh, in both cases, uh, we hope to get good results which would enable us to have a tool next time Ebola Sudan uh, attacks anywhere. Uganda has experienced several Ebola outbreaks. The most recent was an imported case in 2019 from the Democratic Republic of Congo. The country's deadliest was the Ebola Zaire outbreak in 2000 in the northern part of the country, killing more than 200 people.